welcome to my video. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Marvel Legends Symbiote Spider-Man. First, let's take a quick look at the box. So here's the figure out of the box, and first let's take a quick look at the posability. So it's got the knee crunch, it's got a swivel, and then it bends. It's got another swivel, and the feet swivel, and move up and down. Same with the other leg. The arms move about that far up. Which is not the most impressive, but you can swivel the arms, bend it at the elbow with two joints, and swivel the wrist and bend at the wrist. And this figure also has these joints which bend inward and outward. And the head turns 360 and swivels to the side and can look up that far and down that far. And it has a swivel at the torso and a bend near the pelvis. So this is probably the most poseable figure that I've ever gotten from, from um, Marvel Legends so far. Let's just put that back on the stand and let's see the accessories that it comes with. So accessory wise, it comes with two flip hands so it can shoot webs and two open palm hands so he can grip two surfaces. So here's the figure with the open palm hands and here's the figure with the web slinging flip hands. And here's a mixed match. Here's a quick comparison between the symbiote suit and the UK Spider-Man. For another comparison, here is the retro-carded symbiote suit Spider-Man next to the retro-carded Cyclops. And by the way, here is a comparison between the two boxes, which are about And here's a comparison between the Symbiote Suit Spider-Man and the classic 80th Anniversary Iron Man. So far, this figure is near perfect. My only nitpicks are that the, um, the uh, squares on the arm are more of rectangles and not the actual shape that it's supposed to be. And I kind of wish it had the blue and yellow font around it that it was on the box. But apart from that, the figure is amazing, and I rate it a 7.8 out of 10. So that's going to about do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.